Today it's going to be all about a burger, y'all. Boy, I sure do love a big old juicy burger. We're going to do the Carolina Classic on the Blackstone Griddle. Let's go. That's some good groceries. Y'all, a little background of the Carolina Classic, y'all. Hey, it originated in North South Carolina. It's got chili, it's got coleslaw. Boy, we love some coleslaw in North Carolina, boy. Got some chopped onions and some mustard. I personally like to do mayonnaise. Hey, it's a state law, y'all. And I like to put cheese on my burger. So if you don't like that kind of stuff, just admit it. But hey, the classic is chili, coleslaw, mustard, onions. Hey, let's get started with the chili because that's gonna take the longest. We're gonna start out with about a half a pound of ground beef. This is just 80, 20 ground beef. And we're gonna put that on the griddle top just to brown this up and maybe get rid of a little bit of the oil. Once it gets brown, just like this right here, we're gonna transfer that over to our a little skillet going here. You can use you know whatever you like. All right, now to that, we're gonna add about a half a cup of ketchup, a couple tablespoons of chili powder, dash of this beef powder. This right here is just gonna amplify the beefiness of this. And for that salt and pepper aspect, we're gonna add a little bit of this essential blend. We're gonna stir this up real well. This is where I kind of look at the consistency of my chili and uh, decide if I need some more ketchup or whatever. What I like to, to thin this out, cause this is to be a loose chili. I like to take a little bit of water, we'll squirt in there. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna incorporate, it's gonna thicken, it's gonna be some good groceries. That right there is a nice, simple chili for your burgers, your hot dogs, for whatever. To start our coleslaw, I'm gonna take a head of cabbage and this is a big old head, kind of like my own here. We're just gonna break this cabbage down. I like to slice it about halfway and then slice that half in half. Then I like to make vertical cuts down and this is kind of like slicing it just like an onion and it makes really nice little pieces just like this. Now we're just gonna transfer this to a bowl and we're gonna finish it up. I'm going to come in with a little bit of mayonnaise. If you don't know, Duke's mayonnaise, state law. I'm going to take a little bit of sugar. This is the sugar in the raw. And we're going to add a dash of apple cider vinegar. For salt and pepper, just going to use essential blend. We're going to give that a mix and we're going to give it a try. Perfect. Nice, creamy. Got a little sweet from that sugar. Mm, good groceries. Hey guys, appreciate you watching thus far. Don't mind, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. After we got our chili made, slaw made, we're just gonna dice up some sweet onions. This is a Vidalia onion. And we're just gonna dice this up. And this will be our last element before we put these burgers, get these burgers going, y'all. All right, guys, let's get these burgers down. I wanna season this one side. I'm gonna take just, this is just the essentials blend. Uh, use whatever you like for this. I'm gonna do the one side. And we're gonna lay these down. So today we're using these prime rib burgers. I thought, hey, why not prime rib? I love a prime rib. They're already padded out for me. Let's try them. We're at a high heat here. We really want a nice crust on these. We seasoned that first side and we laid that down onto the griddle. Now we're just gonna come in and we're gonna season the other side. All right, we're gonna let these go for two to three minutes and then we'll give them a flip. Oh yeah, look at that color on this one. And let's get cute right here. I'm gonna try to flip this. Think I can do it? Boom, yeah. That's pretty cool, right? I got tricks. I'm like a one trick pony. <laughs> All right, our burgers are almost ready and we're gonna take our buns. These are nice, big old extra large buns. These are ballpark extra large buns. And man, are they extra large. And we're gonna give these a toast. Hey guys, while you're waiting around, hey, I would love to know what is your favorite burger? Let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite burger is. Once the bun's got a little toasty action, we're gonna flip these over and let them get warm, let them get toasted on this other side. They're gonna be ready for the burgers here soon, y'all. Once our burgers are right at done, we're gonna come in, we will put some American cheese down. Use whatever cheese you like. I like American cheese. I'm gonna catch some flack for it, but it is the best cheese, just saying. All right, we're gonna get our buns ready, put our mayonnaise down, again, state law. Ooh, -wee, boys, it's gonna be some good groceries. All right, let's get our burgers on here. Now comes the good part. We're gonna come in with our chili. Don't be shy. This is kind of like a sloppy joe. 
and a burger all in one, but better. We'll come in with our slaw right on top. And last but not least, some yellow mustard. Boy, that is a burger if I ever seen one, y'all. Good night and morning. All right, guys, it's time to try these groceries. Uh, this thing is sloppy. Get plenty of napkins. I wouldn't normally cut this. I'm not too much of a dainty hamburger eater, but for y'all, I am. And I want y'all to see this. Ooh, we look at all that yumminess. I like my hamburgers, you know, kind of medium, medium well. Feel free to cook yours however you like. Let's give these a try. Mmm. Mmm. That Carolina's classic. That Carolina classic just slaps, y'all. Dang it, boy. Mmm. You got a napkin here. Y'all, that's just straight up south in your mouth. Flavor explosion, zesty chili, creamy, little sweet coleslaw, a little crunch from them onions, that mustard. It's got some brininess to it. Whew. Well, it just slaps. It slaps hard. Y'all give this Carolina Classic Burger a try. I am sure you will enjoy it. Hey, head on over to the Blackstone Network where you'll find other awesome videos just like this. Also, head on over to griddlenation.com where you'll also find awesome recipes such as this. Hey, I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries.